profound gratitude for uh, allowing this collection motion. With profound grief, I am participating in this budget. Sorry, in these discussions. Given the magnitude of disaster, why not have this witnessed? It is necessary to declare this tragedy as a national disaster. So the other day, I listened to the response of the minister, and the response says that there is no provision, provision to declare it as a national disaster. I will plead with the Honorable Home Minister, please understand the extent of this tragedy. And it's the worst landslide that has occurred in Kerala. Sir, Kerala government, with the cooperation of the agencies of the union government, are doing everything possible to give relief to the people. There are three stages, as you would appreciate. Rescue, relief, and rehabilitation. Now, the focus is on rescue. The death toll has gone up to 157. And we fear more deaths. There are many people who have gone missing. And I would submit that some of the dead bodies were found in neighboring district. So the radius of this tragedy is huge. So we have to deploy all sorts of devices to ensure that the Rescue operation has got the magnitude of covering areas which are beyond this district. Sir, we have been pleading with the government of India to provide relief to the state of Kerala. Sir, for the information of the House, during the last seven years, 3,782 landslides occurred in the country. And out of that, 2,239 were in Kerala alone. 60% of the landslides happened in Kerala. That's why, sir, when I participated in the budget discussion, I was expressing my reservation to the propositions of the finance minister when she had mentioned only few names of the states. And I would urge upon the honorable home minister to see that there are ample assistance provided at this need of our. Sir, we have opened 45 relief camps in Vainak. There are around 4,000 people in the camp. Various agencies, I would say the people cutting across all the political affiliations, are extending their support to give relief to the people. Two temporary hospitals have been set up in Vainak alone. Forces including Fire Force, NDRF, police are working together in tandem. And I would also compliment and also express my gratitude to the Sandra government, providing the help of the Army, Navy, Air Force, which are being utilized for these rescue operations. Sir, 163 people are being officially declared as dead. But as I told you in the beginning, we feel that the number will go up. Since almost 250 people are still missing, it's very difficult to take out the bodies because of the debris that is heaped on these places. Sir, I have a request to you, sir. Last time, 2000, 2018, we had a flood, very bad flood, a worse flood in a century. At that time, the union government had provided relief, but even for the relief, the union government had charged Kerala state. The money which was spent by Air Force, the money which was provided for uh, rice, were being demanded from Kerala government. I would urge upon the Home, Home Minister that such things should not happen. Please consider this as the disaster of this nation. Please Thank you, extend your... Thank you, Honourable Member. Thank, Thank you very much.